According to Honda, Gen 9's body was designed to be distinctive, clean, and energetic. But the end product is one that appears too similar to that of Gen 8. The so-called monoform body remains, as Honda wanted the new model to be recognizable as a Civic. But it makes the new car look more like a refresh than a redesign. Inside Gen 9 is a fresh take on Gen 8's twin-tier dash, which continues to house a large analog tachometer on bottom and a digital speedometer flanked by fuel and engine temp displays up top. Interior and cargo volume are up, as are rear legroom and shoulder room. Under the Civic EX's hood, Honda has improved the 1.8-liter IVTEC four-cylinder. Peak output of 140 horsepower and 128 pound-feet of torque remains the same as that of last year's 1.8, but at the test track, the new EX handily outperforms its predecessor. The sprint from 0 to 60 now happens in 8.9 seconds, with a quarter-mile run of 16.8 seconds at 82.1 miles per hour. Stepping on the brakes brings the Civic to a stop in 126 feet. The EX lapped our figure 8 in 28.2 seconds at 0.6 average G and pulled a 0.81 average G on the skid pad. What's lost in the new Civic is made up for with refined road manners, more composure at the limit, improved fuel economy, and added interior room and conveniences. But in light of its predecessor, it stands out considerably less.